మీ తెలుగు నెస్టం తెలుగు స్టెప్ యాప్ వెంటేన్ ప్లే స్టోర్ యాప్ స్టోర్ లో డౌన్లోడ్ చేసుకోండి ప్రతి క్షణం అని తెలుగు వాత విశేషాలతో పాటు మీ లోకల్ ప్రాంత వాతలు కూడా సులభముగా తెలుసుకోండి బై ఎంకే అశోక బెంగళూరు మే సిక్స్త్ ద కర్ణాటక ఎలక్షన్స్ ఆర్ కన్సిడర్డ్ ఎ సెమీఫైనల్స్ ఫర్ ద ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ లోక్ సభ ఎలక్షన్స్ ద నేషనల్ పార్టీస్ బీజేపీ అండ్ కాంగ్రెస్ ఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు సెండ్ అ మెసేజ్ టు ద నేషన్ విత్ దీస్ రిజల్ట్స్ కర్ణాటక స్టేట్ ఇస్ ది ఓన్లీ లింక్ ఫర్ బోత్ ద పార్టీస్ టు సౌత్ ఇండియా ఆఫ్టర్ రాజస్థాన్ అండ్ ఛత్తీస్గఢ్ కాంగ్రెస్ వాంట్స్ టు విన్ కర్ణాటక అండ్ మేక్ ఇట్ అ లాంచ్ ప్యాడ్ టు సెట్ ద టోన్ ఫర్ ద లోక్ సభ ఎలక్షన్స్ ఇట్ ఆల్సో వాంట్స్ టు గ్యాల్వనైజ్ ద కార్డర్స్ అండ్ పార్టీ వర్కర్స్ దో ద స్టేట్ కాంగ్రెస్ లీడర్షిప్ ఇస్ ఫర్మిడబుల్ Rahul Gandhi has put in his efforts and tried to send a message to the nation. For the BJP, it is all about proving Prime Minister Narendra Modi's wave in the country by beating the anti-incumbency factor. The Karnataka elections have become all about PM Modi now. Union Minister for Home Amit Shah, Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath, BJP National President JP Nadda, Chief Minister Basavaraj Bombay himself are seeking votes in the name of PM Modi. On top of it, PM Modi himself is seeking votes for himself through personal appeals. The victory will be considered as PM Modi's victory and defeat will also be attributed to him. The third front is hoping to make a comeback at the national stage through the success of JD.S. In Karnataka, former PMHD Deve Gowda headed JD.S. is brimming with confidence on its chances of emerging victorious in the elections. Experts maintain that there is a conducive atmosphere in the state for it to become a kingmaker. The party leadership is claiming that after the rebellion episodes in both Congress and BJP and emotional issues involving 89-year-old Deve Gowda, the party is standing better chances rather than being just a kingmaker. Deve Gowda is touring the state and going to the people on a wheelchair, delivering speeches and making appeals to make his son the CM. He is still the unquestionable leader of Vokaliga community. which decides the fate of political parties in South Karnataka region which has more than 80 seats including Bengaluru Rahul Gandhi and AICC president Malika Arjun Kharge are maintaining that Karnataka elections are not just elections to elect the government to the state but they are of national importance PM Modi is claiming that the election results will decide the fate of Karnataka state he says the victory in Karnataka is crucial for making his dream of taking the Indian economy to the third place from the fifth place Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandra Shekhar Rao visited Bengaluru to meet Deve Gowda and family on multiple occasions. Deve Gowda's son, former CMHD Kumaraswamy has met West Bengal CM Mamta Banerjee in Kolkata and held talks on the third front. Senior political analyst C. Rudrappa, talking to Ian's explained, BJP has left its horse for Ashwamedha Yaga, ritual used by ancient Indian kings to prove their imperial sovereignty. A horse accompanied by the king's warriors would be released to wander for a year. Whoever tames the horse would be fought by them. In Karnataka, their aim is to stop Congress in Karnataka and register victory on the lines of Uttar Pradesh. BJP, which is on a winning spree except for a few occasions, wants to consolidate its position. If BJP fails to make it in Karnataka, it indicates an end of euphoria and a taken-for-granted attitude of BJP, he explained. BJP does not fit in with the people and states which have distinct cultures and don't get carried away by proposed nationalism by BJP such as Odisha, West Bengal, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh. They won't come into BJP's format. The setback in Karnataka either for the Congress or BJP will give indications for the national level. He said, Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel and click on bell for more daily videos.